Hi, I'm Dave Bricchetti. Today I'm going to introduce you to Kojo. Kojo is um, a learning environment that uses a language called Scala and it has several nice features, one of which is turtle graphics like logo. So you can type commands like uh, forward 100 and then the turtle moves forward and clear starts uh, again. And you can do things like um, repeat four times the following and I'll say forward 100 and then write 90 degrees so this makes a square and I might want it to go a little faster let me put clear in here and then set animation delay to uh, about a hundred and I'll run it again you see it draws a little faster that's good if I'm going to be making many squares well, I could do something like this just copy and paste um, after moving to a different position say so I can do uh, set position to um, this is the origin zero zero so over here would be 200 or so and then up. So let's go to 200, 200, and then draw another square. Let's see if this works. Yeah, so that did what I wanted. But notice I've duplicated this code here, which is something that we want to avoid in programming. So instead of duplicating it, I'm going to create a, a function called square that does these statements and then when I want to make a square, I just call square like this. So these lines don't produce any drawing by themselves, but when you call that function like I do on line 10 and line 12, then it makes a square appear. So this should make the squares appear without duplicating any code. Now let's say I want to make the uh, the line lengths variable. So you know if I change this to uh, 50, then I get smaller squares. Uh, I could also do this. I could say def square side length is an integer, and then change this to side length. And now whenever I call square, I say what I want the side length to be. So let's make this one 50 and then this one 75. So now I have two different size squares all both produced with the same code. It's just when I call the function I in one case give it a 50 and the other case give it a 75. Now what if I wanted to not just make squares but make any kind of polygon I could say, um, you know, that that's done by this, how many times you turn and how far you you turn. So you want to turn a circle as 360, so you divide that by the number of sides. This should give us triangles now. And I can also say the number of sides, num sides is an integer, and I'm going to change this to side length because that's more clear. And repeat num sides. And then divide that by, or actually hang on here, forward side length. And then num sides. Now I should really rename this to polygon. Poly. And it now needs to know the number of sides and the side length. So that should produce the same triangles. Good. But notice that very easily now I can make this one into a square or into a pentagon. Isn't that great? Um, or I could use random numbers here. So let's um, just go back to, to one. So here's a pentagon. And let's have the number of sides be variable. 
I can say random um, five and we want it to be at least three though so let's say random something plus three because random something could be zero so this would be from three through eight side it's actually just to test it out let's put a two in here so it should be three four and five sided we should get triangles squares triangle square we should also get a pentagon if I run it long enough unless I've made a mistake yeah I may have so I think it means this is going to give us a 0 or a 1, but not a 2. You um, can also make the side length random. Um, anything up to, say, 50. And just to make this more interesting, let's uh, change that to 4. And the side length really needs a minimum, so I'm going to add something to it. So they're a little bit bigger. That's kind of fun. Okay, let's review. Clear clears the screen, set animation delay, sets the animation speed. And here we've made a function called poly, and when you call it, you need to give it two things. The first is an integer of the number of sides. The second is an integer, the length of each side. And this uses repeat, repeats, does uh, everything on lines 6 and 7, um, num sides times. So if you have a four-sided polygon, it'll do it four times. And it draws a side and then turns right by the appropriate amount. And the appropriate amount is determined by dividing the number of degrees in a circle by the number of sides that you have. Uh, so lines 4 through 8 create this function. Line 10 calls the function. Uh, I'll just do one other thing, and that is put this in a repeat. So we'll get 20 different random polygons. We'll see if that works. Um, yeah, the only problem is they're always drawn from the same place, so I think we need to do just uh, set position and random and random. Let's see if that is better. They're all kind of clustered around that point. So um, I could fine tune these numbers, but you get the idea. Okay, so there's a little introduction to Kojo. Have a good time.